Hi, I'm Matthew, and this is my video essay explaining postmodernism in Life on Mars and the Bridge. During Life on Mars, there are many intertextual references. These include references to The Wizard of Oz, Booper, and Big Henry. These references are very postmodernism as they show self-awareness. Life on Mars shows pastiche as it is set 25 years before production and pays homage to the 70s cop shows. The show presents the idea of the anti-hero through the character of Hunt. This is seen as his character blurs the line between good and bad as he goes around the law to catch the bad guy. For example, he beats information out of suspects. Postmodernism in the bridge. The bridge relies on an audience understanding of crime drama, specifically Nordic noir to decode it. The diegetic world of the bridge is a hyper-reality. It is Sweden and Denmark re represented from a mediated perspective linked to stereotypical national traits and cultural values. Consider how this is constructed. If Saga's professional world hyper-real, based on our cultural perception of an institution, the police force, that is itself constructed simulacrum rather than experience first-hand, how do we know that the police force is like this? It is based primarily on the way it is represented to us through the